What's up, everyone? Um, so I couldn't find any 20 or uh, 260 spine e snacks this round. That's what I've been shooting um, for a while now, and I need to get some more arrows. And I kind of wanted to tinker around a little bit. So these are the arrows I'm shooting right now. E snacks 260. It's uh, 29 and 9 16 that I have them from carbon to carbon. I'm gonna cut them down eventually to 29 and a half. But four inch wrap, four fletch AAE max stealth, just a standard hit inserts 20, or uh, 16 grain. Uh, total arrow weight's right around 508 grains. Switching to the Rampage Black Eagles. Um, these are the 250 spine. Um, 0 0.001 as well. These are the match grade um, access, so kind of just jumping straight across the board. Um, the only real difference in these, other than the grain per inch, um, access is 11.5. These are 10.7. Um, is the outer diameter? The outer diameter is 0.276, as opposed to on the axis two. Uh, 0.280 so it's 0 0.004 difference which is literally nothing so uh, what I'm doing is I'm going through I'm going to cut them down and now these are utilizing the half outs um, and you have to cut them down obviously if you want to keep them the same length cut them down approximately a half inch shorter um, because of the half out and that will get you right um, right at the length that you have for your other arrows. They're, um, I think they're just shy of half inch, but nitpicking there. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm going through the dozen arrows that I got, just spin testing them, which, uh, see what side I want to cut. Um, like on this one, you can definitely see the front on this one wobbly, the back isn't, and it's been that way with the last two or now three um, arrows. Now, a lot of people just cut the front, um, and I've been doing that for a long time as well. Um, but if you want to get the straightness out of your arrow and as straight as possible, um, check both sides and then cut it from there. And if you're OCD like me, you're going to have these all at different lengths, um, have the label at all different lengths. What you can do is just hit it with acetone, it'll come right off and uh, you'll just have raw carbon shaft, but that's what I do. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna be going through here. Like this one's definitely back wobbly. Front's not bad. So I'm gonna cut the back and do the back on this one. Um, so yeah, you go through all dozen arrows, go through it, make sure they're a straight cut straight, nice, good. You're gonna square them off and uh, go through there. So that's why I'm starting the process here. You can see here with the way the phone, phone's kind of hanging in weird. But um, I got six arrows right here. This is where they need to be cut off on one side. It's either the front or the back. This one I need to take off front and back a little bit. So split 50-50, uh, something super good to uh, check out, especially if you have um, an arrow that's just a little wobbly on the broadhead side, that can be super bad. Typically that's the side that anybody cuts, but just precaution, something that you guys should look into um, if you're not doing it. So I'm going to cut the split them off and you can see that the labels are going to be off here. See yeah, they're all a little bit off down here. Um, that's where the acetone comes into play. Now, kind of mark, I guess it's not a huge deal which one that you want uh, the front now that you cut it off and they're all spin and true. Um, but I go through and uh, just kind of mark the front there um, and then go from there. So now, um, you're not going to be able to see it super well. Let's see if we can get it down here. So 
Sorry for the mess here. The kids kind of left a bunch of crap out, but all right. So you can see I have my arrow spinner here and inserts in the arrow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and spin it. And this one's spinning real nice. So after that, I'm going to mark right there where I want this insert to do or what insert to go. And I'm going to hot glue it eventually. So I'm going to go through and do that. But what I'll do is just for the sake of showing you guys. hit this hot glue. I know a lot of people don't like hot glue. Um, I haven't had a single issue with it, to be honest with you, and I really like it a lot. It's been super beneficial for me, especially with uh, tuning and whatnot. I can match my uh, rod heads up with the veins and uh, go from there, but as you can see, you don't want to do that because that's stupid, but get that, let it sit for a little bit. You can dunk it in water if you want. Um, this is going to have to get hit with a knife, but or acetone actually, but if you get it on your clothes like that, just get it off with acetone. Um, and then you just go through and take it off. So now, got it nice and lined up. It's glued in, it's not going anywhere. And it's spinning real nice. So that one is completed. All I need to do now is go through the acetone outside, get this part off and then I am going to fletch them. But that is how I have it right now. And that's what I'm going to do. So just to um, show you guys in the interest of time, I put the inserts in. I got a couple more that I need to clean up over there. But I weighed them and um, to keep the arrow weight that I want to stay at, I'm gonna have to uh, 86 my wrap. So just doing four fletch on the back uh, without the wrap. We're gonna see how it goes. I think it's gonna look pretty good. Pretty excited about it actually. Put this on. That hit with the Q-tip. Let that sit for a second, and then I'm gonna go through, do all four, be able to show you guys. But yeah, I uh, I've really been interested in the Black Eagle Rampage arrows, um, most specifically because um, let's move this here. specifically because of the half outs. I wanted um, I wanted to have that metal up front as opposed to on the axis arrows where you don't have that metal up front. Now you can add that obviously. Um, there's a few companies that allow you to do that. There's um, Ethics Archery has a kit that you can put on there. Um, Iron Will's got a kit that you can do. Um, I know you can fit actually make like a Franken arrow kind of and uh, throw gold tip um, components and do it that way if you wanted to. There's a bunch of different things that you can do. Um, but I just kind of wanted to do something that is factory. Super simple. Um, there's real nothing that you have to measure go through or kind of tinker with so 
that was my game plan on this something I can go purchase don't have to worry about having to get online and contact a company uh, specifically for that these arrows you can pick up at most pro shops so that's kind of the route that I wanted to go um, just ease of access especially if you're traveling um, now next year I'm going to be doing the elk hunt in Colorado so I definitely want to uh, have something just in case something happens where um, I need to get some arrows either the Eastern Access or um, these arrows I should be able to get readily available um, that's kind of the selling point for me really um, anything crazy custom or anything like that I don't want to be hosed and there's always that chance so just being able to make it a little bit easier on myself and not have to worry about that is something I definitely want to uh, do almost done here And that's another thing, primer pin your uh, veins. Um, and then if you do touch them, uh, go back and just touch them up. I think I actually did the last one and messed up on that, but hopefully that holds. We will see. It's nice because with these lighter veins you can actually see the glue adhesion on to the actual arrow shaft um, through the foot of the vein it's really easy to be able to see that make sure that you got good contact there but there you go got that um, I'll show you first I think this is kind of the final product. This is the Annihilator XL 55 grains arrow veins. I need to tip and tail these, but then that'll be right as rain. So measure these should be right at like 510. Maybe the glue set it off a little bit. Actually, this is a 125 grain. So let's do a hundred grain. Hundred grain annihilator. Yeah, five eleven. So yeah. As long as I get to stay right around there, I'll be happy. I didn't want to go anything crazier than that. The wraps um, that I have are actually a lot heavier than normal. They're about 10 grains. Um, and that'd be right up to where I was originally at and I wanted to drop down a little bit closer to, um, closer to 500. Um, but super happy with the way these turned out. They look super clean. And uh, really looking forward to putting these to the test in the field here shortly. Thank you for watching.